Welcome back to my Bronzeman Mode progression series. In today's episode, we are going to complete a bunch of quests, unlock some really nice unradables, and we are going to PK and have some fun in the wilderness. So let's get straight to the business. Enjoy, guys. For the next quest that I'm going to do is going to be Rum Deal. But for that, I need at least 47 prayer. Luckily, we have just enough coins to buy some bones and get this thing done. So 100 dragon bones should be enough. Probably it's more than enough, so let's complete it fast. 47 prayer. Yeah, more than half of the dragon bones left. That's why I love Cleo's altar. Need to do some smithing as well. So let's get it done. 40 smithing completed. And let's do the giant dwarf quest. I'm ready. I was born ready, man. Nah, I don't want to see it. No time to watch this long meeting. I want to get straight to the business. The giant dwarf completed, which was required to take part in blast furnace smithing leveling. This is the best way how to level your smithing. At least that's what I think. There might be something better, but um, yeah, this is what's available for me. It's not the most effective way because I don't have ice gloves yet, so I have to use the bucket and it's it's not as effective and not as enjoyable if you can say so. So this takes so much longer than to do it with the ice gloves and uh, goldsmith gauntlets. So I'm just going to stop it here. No point continuing if it's not that effective. 37 hunter and it's always nice to do a birdhouse run if you get bored of doing something repeatedly I made some notes how many spices go into the stew to make it perfect because if you don't keep track of which spice is required then it can get quite annoying quite quickly let's see if the evil Dave likes the stew Of course he does. 7000 cooking experience and 2 council members left to free. This should also give me more access and I should have Addy gloves now. Let's see. Is it true or not? Cash tech is really small now. <laughs> yep, Addy gloves unlocked guys. 3.250k each. These five pairs should last me for a while, unless I get ganked by someone in the wilderness. Really nice bonuses. Black Knight Fortress completed. Recruitment Drive completed. Total quest points 86. Mountain Dudder completed as well. I needed to do something AFKable and I knew that I needed to level up my mining. So I found out this uh, wilderness shooting star that's quite secluded and it's also really AFK. It's more AFK now but it was still quite AFK before as well. So I got 2.6k stardust, a little bit more than 2.6k and it's enough for the ring that I want. Celestial ring. It will invisibly increase my mining level and it only cost uh, 2k stardust so it's a bargain so yeah this is basically the part where I realized that this uh, celestial ring increases your mining invisibly not visibly so yeah I'm still 37 mining instead of 50 which is required to get through this rock slide but it took me some time to realize look at the chat box <laughs> so yeah nothing else to do 
let's get my mining up. Three last levels to go. And let's keep the pickaxe pumping. 50 mining. Now I can also mine size 5 stars. Another try. This time, this rock slide is not stopping me. I'm getting to this ice queen and I'm finally going to get my ice gloves. So I can do blast furnace more effectively. Here it is. Ice queen defeated. Ice gloves unlocked. Let's get out of here. And I also need to level up some agility. So let's get straight into that. Last lap. And my agility level is 42. So now it is time to finish family crest. Now I got some steel gauntlets unlocked. I'm going to turn those into goldsmith gauntlets. But on the way, this sergeant wanted me to burn some calories and be active. So guys, don't forget to work out. I got myself some camo leggings. And let's get those gold gauntlets finally. Improve them for me, man. Goldsmith gauntlets unlocked. This is going to make Blast Furnace way faster. I'm going to start the run by wearing Goldsmith Gauntlets. And now, once I get the experience drop, I'm going to change to the Ice Gloves. So I don't need the water bucket anymore. That's it. Way faster than before with the bucket. So one more last trip before my goal, which currently is 50 smithing. So, waiting for the experience drop, 50 smithing, and that's it for now. Let's move on. I'm going to relocate my house to Osidios, so it gives me a really nice and fast access to the sand crab area, where I'm going to train my melee, because my melee stats are quite low, just to be more deadly. 62 hit points and right after that 63 strength. Now it is time to do some last man standing because for the future special weapon we are going to need ornate maul handle for the granite maul which is going to be our special weapon for quite some time. Let's see how I work this guy as well or how he works me. <laughs> nice hit. There are a bunch of bots in the last man standing minigame as well, but sometimes it's quite hard to say which ones are real players and which one is actually a bot. So yeah, sometimes a player looks like a bot, but in the end it turns out to be a human being, so it is what it is. Oh, Armadil Crossbow, Ranger's Tunic, nice. Yeah, for, a, for an example, this guy was a bot. No overheads, just camping, runite crossbow. Parlor 44, if you guys wanna report him. Yeah. That, but that was a really nice battle. Buddy is fast, you see, I have audience. Of course I'm fast, I got hands, man. But sometimes I'm too fast and I confuse even myself. So, being fast is not enough if you're not accurate. Good fight though. It's time to remove all those unlocks that I got from the last man standing. And I finally can afford Orient Maul Handle, which I'm going to use in the future. Unfortunately, I don't have Gmail yet, so it's gonna be quite some time until I get it. Cabin fever completed, 56 crafting, 43 agility, creature of Fenkenstrain completed, the lost tribe completed, 
death to the Torgestion completed, slice of ham completed. Lost city completed. Fairy tale 1, growing pains completed. 48 farming. Shiloh village done. One huge favor completed. This is one of the most annoying quests for me. This is just crazy how many small favors you have to do during one quest. But I got two experience lamps and I am going to use them both in agility. Like I usually do. 20k experience in agility. That's a nice bonus. 41 hunter after a birdhouse trap run. Spirits of the Elide completed. 49 prayer. 73 magic. Getting closer to this entangle. Garden of Tranquility completed. 51 farming. I can finally plant pineapple trees. Barbarian drinking contest completed. So now I can smash those vials. Horror from the deep completed. Let's get myself some damaged books. So at least it looks like I have like the real book, but it's just for the extra prayer bonus. And to look more aesthetic. This is basically the old school signature pure item, but I'm now a slayer pure. So and I also don't have the pages to fill it up, so I'm fine with the damaged book. Underground pass completed. This is another annoying quest. Especially with low agility. 47 agility. 46 attack. Fairy tale 2 cure a queen. Done to the part where I can start using fairy rings. It's gonna make traveling way faster. Type for Vanai trio completed. And I also got all the experience from the brothers and sisters after the quest. So yeah, make sure you get this if you have done the quest and you haven't gotten the experience yet. They are located around those huts around here. 42 fire making. 'm gonna complete the enter the abyss mini game or mini quest most like yeah more likely it's a mini quest yeah book red nine rune drafting swan song completed this is fun, one funny quest especially the end fights sixty four fishing fifty prayer Great Brain Robbery completed. Now I have a broken anchor. 51 prayer, 35 crafting. And the experience lamp that goes to the agility. Rag and Bone Man 2 completed. A Ram Skull Helm and a Bone Sack. Fashion Scape. Let's do one run of Barrows as well. If you didn't know before, then after completing your first run of Barrows, you can talk to the strange man or whatever he's called up there on the small hills and he will give you the item that gives you 20k prayer experience. You can use it now or you can just destroy it and if you want to use it later in the future, you just talk to him again and he will give it to you again. But you can only use it once, so use it when you need it. Last brother defeated, and now it's time to increase my potential. Potential increased, let's see what's in the chest. Nah, for a second I actually thought this is Cotton's item, because this strange icon that gives you prayer experience kinda looks like Cotton's helm. These are my current stats, 46 attack, 64 strength, 13 defense, 71 range, 62 HP, 51 prayer, 73 magic, 58 slayer, 54 farming, so not too bad guys. It's time to finish off this prayer grind and finally get the smite. Last bone. 52 prayer and 61 combat level. Now it is time to do what I enjoy the most in this game. 
time to PK. Let's gear up and enter the wilderness. Hang on, lava dragons. The savior is on the way. Hero of the lava dragons, the protector. Let's see how many bots and how many players can we find here. Oh, this didn't take too long to find the first bot. And he's probably not even eating. Yep. Nothing special, but he has been here for about 3-4 kills. Oh, another guy. Up, 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 up. Is the name of this guy. <laughs> oh, Lava Dragon. I'm here to protect you, not to kill you. So why are you hitting me? This Lava Dragon almost KO'd me. Considering the loot that this guy dropped, it seems that he was here for a while. Oh, another guy, level 97. Let's get this guy. So Doom, 1, 3, 3, 4. Come on, let's get him. Is the gate closed or? Cookie char. Cookie char. Oh, running cookie char. <laughs> Haven't seen that one before. With the help of the dragon. You see, dragons, now we're working together. Protector and the dragons. Downing pots like it's nothing. Oh. That was a quick reaction by me. So do Mister again. Wildy get. All right. Onyx ball tips, nice. Oh, that's quite juicy to be honest. Chaos runes, lava dragon bones. Let's get out of here before this beer comes back and goes after me. 343k in the looting pack. Decent. Another trip. Fluffy Kiki. Look what we just found. Most giants are going to mess it up, maybe, but let's see. This guy probably has some cannonballs with him as well, so let's try to get, take them from him. He might be anti PKing as well because he's not running from me, but. Or he's not risking so much, so he doesn't care too much. Let's see. Can I get it? Oh, yes! Nice! Let's get it. Ah, he's going for it now. Don't splash, come on! Come on, don't splash. Oh, he's trying to freeze me now. Haha, <laughs> he splashed, I didn't. Let's get him now. Come on. Finish him. Nice. How many cannonballs? Oh, 680. Not bad. Black dehyde chaps, black dehyde vamps, ranging potion. Damn, that's really nice. I didn't even think about the black dehyde chaps and the ranging potion thing. After getting those unlocks, I think we have progressed enough for one episode. So, this is a wrap for today. If you enjoyed what you just saw, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and different RuneScape communities, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any upcoming videos, and comment down below if you got any tips how to improve my videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.